<laughs> when purchasing lemons, look for a deeper, more golden looking lemon. That means they are more ripe and more pungent, which is what you're looking for. And with the cuties, you do not want them to be soft or squishy. You want them to be firm. Look at the price of those pineapples. I remember just yesterday, it seems like they were like $1.89. Bananas are usually on the menu because we make a lot of smoothies. My daughter makes a smoothie almost every day. And I wanted to get a cucumber because we're going to be making some salads. For me, I love to get the Roma tomatoes and I buy them by the pound. And uh, that works best for me because we don't eat too many tomatoes. My daughter doesn't like them. So many tasty processed things, but we are definitely trying to transition. So many things that I wanted to try, but I'm trying to stay focused and change something one day at a time, which will make remarkable changes in my healthy eating lifestyle and just to get back on track. So yeah. So what I have been doing is I make my own jam. So I've been eating the actual um, raisin bread with a little bit of my homemade jam if I want something sweet. I've been also getting pretzels. We've been enjoying the pretzels as a salty snack with my homemade peanut butter or maybe like a honey mustard or something like that. We needed some more sugar, I believe, this go round. And I did grab that, which is a organic sugar you'll see when I show you guys the haul. So as a courtesy, I show you items that are new or that I've never seen before in Aldi. And um, if you never shop here before, you get a little taste um, of some of the items that they have. Do know that there is a double back guarantee. If you didn't know, remind me in the comments and I'll try to insert the video. I think I did a video solely on that. A lot of people do not know that. They have a lot of different Asian dips that were very interesting. They have a lot of things that you will not see in regular stores. Um, Audi derives from a German, um, from Germany, and it is uh, a lot of German brand items, not off brand. People don't know the difference. Um, they just call it off brand, but that is not actually true it is just a german food brand that actually use um uh try not to use a lot of gmos and toxic things in their foods um i have been seeing a little bit of transitioning with that but that's one reason what interested me in shopping here because they stand by their brand and they also try not to put as much toxic things that you see in the national name brand stuff they had look at these new kettle chips guys I did not know they had these. These look so good. I might grab a bag um, when I go back to the store this coming week. Um, so you'll probably see that in my next haul. But I do shop every week and I'm trying not to eat as much processed stuff and things like that. So the hauls aren't so long. It's going to be more informative on how to save in the ways that we are transitioning. Hey my gators, so here is the actual food haul. We're gonna start from the right, my right. And we have the um, the Zucca Marina Pure sh Cane Sugar. Now it tastes way better than white sugar and it's clean, it's organified, a granified. 
<laughs> it's certified organic. Um, no GMOs or anything like that. Um, so if I have to have sugar as I'm weaning myself from eating sugar, um, and as you see, there's no meat. We're trying to not eat meat as much, maybe once a week um, or maybe two to three times a week. Um, I used to be vegan and I loved and enjoyed how my skin looked. I felt my body, the clarity of mind and all of that. So I'm basically trying to um, ease my way back into it, but give myself grace along with making sure that I'm staying active and, and doing, you know, workouts as far as my body and stuff. So, you know, my baby girl loves these. I love these too. So I got to have these. We need some more of those. I wanted some grapes. So my, my taste buds for the sweets are kind of changing a little bit, which is a good thing. So I got me some grapes. I don't know why, but I wanted pickles, but I think we got some in the refrigerator that we didn't even eat. So if so, I'll probably be taking those back because that's $2. Um, got more lemons. I drink a lot of lemon water throughout the day. And so I usually squeeze like a half of a lemon in my water. So I got to keep these on deck. And then we're out of hot sauce. And instead of getting a big jug, because we're not going to be eating meats like that, we're going to need as much hot sauce. But I do know I make this amazing popcorn. If you want me to make it for you, no butter, but it tastes buttery and it's so flavorful. Let me know below. And I'll definitely, I told a lot of you guys about it. It is so addictive, but it's better than eating chips salty chips or you know things like that so to fulfill my craving of chips i've been doing um pretzels but i made my homemade uh, i make homemade peanut butter so i've been dipping those in there if i get a, a taste of uh sweet tooth i'll get uh the pretzels with a little bit of um peanut butter and grab me some cuties or something like that so I love black olives. I can eat these by themselves. I love them, love them, love them. They're good for your skin. They're better than green olives. These are actually considered ripe olives versus a green olive, just so you know if you didn't know. I got a cucumber. I got some raisin bread, which is something like in, for breakfast if I wanted raisin bread or oatmeal or something, I can do that. Um, so I'm not fully, I don't know, I'm, I'm transitioning. So um, I am going to eat stuff that probably has some animal products. I'm pretty sure they use eggs in there or something to make the bread and even with the pretzels i'm pretty sure you know i'm not sure exactly but i'm sure that um with pretzels they use eggs or something so i have some romaine pretzels i went to the asian market i have the receipt for that i only spent about three bucks so i got three heads of bok choy because i'm making some spicy okra miso ginger um bok choy soup um so i got a little thing of ginger i think this is like 20 something cents or 40 something cent I think these were like 70 something cent I didn't need that many and then three heads of bok choy it was like 306 total um I actually have it right here yep 306 total right yeah it was it was end up being 306 and then for uh Aldi I spent a total of 30 22 and I think that was because this sugar was like five bucks and fruits and vegetables are kind of high so you go figure we needed some more bananas we down to our last two I got some Roma tomatoes um, for a salad and I got a cucumber so that is my mini haul transitioning trying to I'll say vegetarian but not really eating meat like that as much um, I did uh, make a steak for someone the other day and I ate like a little portion of it and I was fine and I was fine so I don't know I'm transitioning but you guys will see as I continue to shop and share my budget with you how this works for me um so for the week that will be um and I shopped early so for the week that's a total of 30 30 Y'all know I can't, you know, my count and be all over the place. That's a total of 104, like, no, that's a total of 33.26 that I spent out of my budget of 50. And this was a staple that is needed. Um, This was one of the staples. And that's, and, and oh, the two staples were in there. So if I take away the staples, this was $4.99. And uh, the hot sauce was... Yep, sugar was actually on sale. It was usually $5.79. So it was $4.99. And then the hot sauce was... $1.99. So that's $5.50, you might as well say. <laughs> $6.50, you might as well say. Lord, what is going on with me and my calculations? Okay, so $6.50. If I took $6.50 away from the $36.27, uh, that $28, I'm sorry. So that will be, no, from the $33.27. So take away $3. No, no, that'd be $27 and some change, about $28. 
27 26 and some change or something like that so we'll still be at quite half of what the budget would have been for the week because it's 50 dollars a week for us so this is what i have if you have any questions or comments leave them below i'm trying to be creative with these hauls and do things like as if you're going with me and getting it done so i'll put the total up here on the screen somewhere and i'll also put what i have left if i need to go back to the store sometime this week but i've been doing a lot of intermittent fasting so i don't really eat early so that's one good thing and i'll put in i did do a haul last week um and it was the transition haul of just i just did definitely didn't buy any meat at all or anything like that so i'm gonna try to find that footage and put that in here so hey my gators this is going to be a haul that i'm going to insert in a video that i'm doing about my actual Hey guys, so I did freeze this screen before I showed you the items because this is something that we all deal with. A lot of us don't want to face it and actually uh, being obese and overweight and eating a lot of these toxic things that America allows in our food is really taking a lot of people out and it's not a good thing. And because of that, um, it's just been heavy on my mind. It's been so many times I've had the journey of trying to get back on track and do what I need to do to eat healthy and eat right. The thing is, I love the kitchen. I love to cook. I love to bake. I love to do these things. But I also recall when I was a vegan, I still did these things, but I just made them more healthier. So my channel is not going to fully transition because I know that people still like certain things. But what I will do is try my best to make them healthier and share the healthier things that I'm doing because you may not have a guideline or a blueprint and you may want to know how to just implement more healthier things in your life. So that's kind of where I'm at. I know that I have a, I had an addiction to sweets, carb sweets, carb sweets, carb sweets. Those are my things. I never really had an issue with a uh, food like overeating food itself. It was just be like cookies and cakes and pies and stuff like that, that I just could not stop myself and I would continue eating those things. So I'm going to transition and learn to be more disciplined with when I am able to eat those things again, I'll have a uh, moderation and know, okay, enough is enough. You had enough and you don't need to eat enough till you're full or feeling like you want to unbutton your pants or you just feel bloated. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying these hauls and seeing the transition. If so, talk to me in the comments. I will talk back and continue watching. So, uh, food addiction. So I'm going to show you the things I got. Then I'm going to show you the receipt of what i return to get the things that i have now and let's just see how this journey works so let me show you what i got from all these for this week's haul Okay, this is the haul and what I want to explain to you is the main things that were open that I did a double back guarantee where I was able to get an item and also get my money back was the grapeseed oil, bananas, and I returned some um, honey ham lunch meat, black forest lunch meat, and I was able to get both of these hummuses for that. So if you didn't know, you can get a double back guarantee at Aldi's when you return something that is their brand and it's called the twice as nice guarantee i'll talk more about that in this video or maybe i'll make a separate video i know i made one before but yeah so a lot of these things like the hummus the refried beans and the diced tomatoes and stuff i can make myself but when i'm trying to find some quick ways to have stuff on hand when i get hungry this week we're going to be eating um wraps so I got the tortilla wraps and uh, we're going to use the refried beans and plus I have some black beans and I also have some garbanzo beans. We're going to eat different types of wraps throughout the week. We're going to eat some um, smoothies so that's why I got the fruit. And then we're going to be doing some like vegan rice bowls. I haven't tried this instant rice so we're going to see how this tastes. I took back some vegetable oil which is what I was using in my brownies and I'm trying to not use those things anymore and try to go back into more plant-based um slash vegetarian for right now until we get rid of some of the things that i could didn't want to take back like the eggs and some yogurt in there different things like that but this is what we're working with for this week but let's get into this video and talk to you about my situation with being addicted to foods and having to face reality and knowing that it's not easy i have to have some accountability and um figure this thing out so let's get into the video 
I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And uh, yeah, see you in the next clip. We're probably beginning to end, but I'll voice over and you will know what it is to show you that because I didn't want to just miss out on sharing that mini haul because that was the week where we didn't eat much and we were kind of fully kind to trying to drink a lot of water and, and just kind of do right. So that's what it is. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, realize I have over 1500 videos over. I just like to say 1500. It makes it sound good. I know I got over 2000 videos on here and there are videos that can help you in every way, shape or form from cooking to cleaning to budgeting and everything. Y'all see those? When I buy these bad boys, I do not. If I forget to do this, I put them in water. These things grow right before your eyes. Stop buying green onions, literally. Just cut the... I'll do a video on it, a quick video on those. But anywho, that's that. And I will see you guys later. Gators, all my new, new, new family members. I thank you. Thank you for joining the family. Please share, share, share the channel. And I'm going to start posting short things on TikTok and Instagram for this channel. So if you're not following me on those places, in those places, please go follow me in those places. Instagram and TikTok is the same as this. I'll try to see if I can leave a link below to both of them. So I will see you guys later. Gators.